Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill for The Room. When we last left off, we were just in Hospital World. I do have my notes here, of course, because it was a week ago for me. Um, yes, and we found out the whole love triangle between Mike and Rachel and... Uh, yeah, the center of the cult, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, we were in uh, Hospital World and we were looking for Eileen, yes, our next door neighbor. Who has indeed, bloody things, who has indeed um, disappeared on us. Uh, in fact, she was like horribly murdered uh, in the last episode, but she didn't actually die. And yeah, we got the creepy uh, rabbit doodad in there yeah she didn't actually die oh yeah that's the point and the uh, the hole out of here was actually sealed up uh so we had to make our own hole which has led us this way so let's go back to the hospital we've um only just uh got to the hospital if i remember correctly so we have plenty of doors to uh, unlock and have a good little dig through so, it seems like she might not be dead, uh, unlike Cynthia, who is uh, definitely uh, dead, you know. Now, where were we? Yes. Yeah, so we had literally just got here. Oh, and um, Sullivan was chasing us around. Uh, at least he was here to begin with, anyway. Oh. What's that on the floor? Was that hit? Was that always here? A bag. Um. So weird the way he like bends down. What's a woman's handbag doing here? It must be Eileen's. Did she have a handbag? I can't remember. Do we want to take her bag? Uh, yes. You should always take a woman's handbag with you. Uh, looks like it could cause a little bit of damage. Well, this is what I'm saying, okay? Like, women have all kinds of stuff in their handbags. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, my missus, she has everything you could even imagine in there. Want a drink? She's got one in there. Need some pills for your headache? She's... Ooh. She's got them in there. What? Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, and we found this little uh, knife as well, didn't we? Can we actually... Oh, I can't use this here. I was going to say, can we actually use the handbag ourselves? Yeah, you name it. She's got batteries, uh, power cords, battery backs, um, everything in that bag. Uh, I've got to remember how to get the map up. Yes, yeah, the double tap Y. Hello. Anybody in here? What's that? It's a bed with wheels. They must move patients with this. I wonder if Eileen is in this room. Uh, well, I don't see her, pal. Yeah, we'll have the nutrition drink. But my surround sound was still on then. It is not. See, when I'm looking around a room, you've, you've kind of got a... Keep your eye on Henry's uh, head. Because he will look at items and objects that you can interact with. So, we've got four doors down there. Or we've got, like, a big door up here. Did we really kill this many beasties here? Lock is broken. Well, that's good, because that narrows it down a little bit. This is very ominous in this building as well. First come, first serve. Ooh. Yeah, like lots of health packs and things. It's a baby's medical chart. Okay. Got the portable med kit as well. Nice. Really? We can't open any of these? You can usually always open lockers. And I will apologize if there's uh, any background noise that you guys can hear. My neighbors are having some kind of barbecue or something. It is currently 27 degrees in this room. That's hot for the UK. Ooh, we're not going in there just yet. 
it is unbearably hot. And I can't put my fan on because it uh, will be blowing straight onto the microphone. Okay, so we've got some stairs there. What's this way? Oh, what the? F okay. <laughs> what the? <fuck? laughs> oh god! Oh god! There's a bit of an arsehole on this one. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> <It's j> <laughs> Why do they burp when you attack them? No, seriously, why do they burp when you attack them? Like, <laughs> what the fuck is that about? Oh, good God. I mean, I'm sorry, they're terrifying. Oh, an ampule. We haven't seen one of these. Yeah, these were like the big health um, restoration items uh, from the, the second one for sure. Were they in the third one as well? I think they were. Restores a fairly large amount of health. Continues to restore health for a time. Nice. <laughs> oh. They take two kicks to finish off. Maybe. Um. <laughs> okay. I was wondering if we were going to bump into nurses in this game. But, as Silent Hill nurses go, well, uh, they're the shittest ones so far. So, let's go through the, an elevator, but the door or button is broken, and it's not responding, okay. Uh, well, I guess we're going upstairs, I wonder if we can find some more burping nurses. I mean, like, what's going on with these nurses? Too much fucking fizzy pop. That's what that is. They've all been on the monster or the coke. What the fuck? Wheelchairs? Okay, well, I mean, sure. Oh man, we have serious amounts of rooms here. Holy bloody hell. Oh. Okay, this is really strange. Like, we've had... Ah. Even health items don't stack. That's worth knowing. So, uh, given... Whoa, what the... Oh, they actually ram each other. Dude. Oh. Hello? What the hell? I can see legs coming out from the bottom of that cloth. Yeah. Yeah, well that's something you don't see every day. I hope that's not Eileen. We need to start thinking about going back home as well because um, we're running out of inventory space here. Oh! Okay, the floor is sculpty. I can see someone on the other side of the wine net, but they're not moving. Is it a dead body? Well, we may never know, my friend. There's a horrible smell coming from inside the broken, broken glass. The broken glass. Glass is broken. Oh, almost overlooked the elephant in the room there. Oi! Oi, Henry! Pick the fucking thing up! There we go. Four iron. Aye, lad, let's have the four iron. Right, we're out of, like, inventory space, so let's go back downstairs. We need to go home. Uh, let's avoid the, uh, the, the wheelchairs, because, you know, that's terrifying. Um, can we go? Ah, there's the elevator. The elevator must be on another floor. I need to press the button on the right to call it. Okay. It's probably, f yeah. Alright, that's interesting. Oh! Can we... Oh, we can go into... Oh, fuck! Hello! <laughs> I was not expecting a belch queen to be inside this thing. 
And this, this like blade is all right actually. It's fast. It's really fast. They're sadly not the sexy nurses that uh, I certainly were hoping they were to be. Everything's broken except for the open close button. Oh. Okay, so there's like no point apart from the fact that we can kill a nurse in there. Okay. Right, let's head back because we're heavily overloaded with goodies. Interesting. I suppose we what little bit of damage that we had. Whoa. Ah. Okay. It's locked. Oh, interesting. Yeah, what little bit of damage we have taken, we should be able to like heal up. Uh, we need to go into the washroom. And head on home. Enter the hall. We like entering the hall. That is what Henry seems to do best. It's the only thing he does with uh, any ounce of um, gumption. Although the way he twists to pick things up tickles me in all the right places. It's, it's funny. Yeah, we, we know. We're waking up. Ah, that's our health fully restored anyway, so that's cool. Now let's go drop all that junk off. Um, oh, I think... I can't remember if I said this, but... Do I want the rusty axe? I mean, this knife is good. It's so quick. I, mean, I guess we keep that on us. We don't really need any healing. I've actually got a good stock of healing items now. Which is nice. Do we want the rusty axe? See, it says it's hard to... Uh, a little short but powerful. Uh, I'm liking this blade. I really am. I mean, I, I would have thought it's like a joke weapon, but uh, it's, it seems all right. All right, let's go back up to the wheelchairs. Yeah, let's enter the hall. I've never seen so many items in this game. i literally never seen so many items. It's nice. Um, still questioning the usefulness of uh, healing items. Like, if we can just, you know, fuck off back to our room, then... Then I guess... The only thing that I can really think that they'd be useful for is bosses. We have been every oh, we've been everywhere apart from uh, this door here. Ah, I thought it'd be locked, but you know, it's worth looking. Well, hopefully this blade's gonna last a while. It's not gonna like break or anything. If anyone's used one of these blades before, which I would imagine is damn near everybody. Uh, they're not very good. They don't last very long. But it doesn't mention anything about it breaking, so, you know. Right, let's continue. Ooh, hello. Ooh, bullets. Yeah, why not? Some kind of skin. It smells horrible. There's something stuck in it. Around the middle of the skin, there's still some meat attached on the inside. Uh, okay. Can we not... Cut it, like, open and... Huh, maybe not. There are all sorts of medicines, but I don't know what any of them are. Yeah, best not to just start, like, guzzling unknown pills. I mean, it can be fun, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, okay. Oop. <laughs> it's like the wheelchairs as well. Just uh, I find them funny. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Is that like a snake? 
It's a key. Oh. A key found in the hospital. It's probably the key to Eileen's hospital room. How do we know that? Uh, it's locked. Really? Uh, okay. Yeah, we just like used the key that we found to like immediately escape from the trap. That's interesting. Ooh. The fuck? Need to almost want to make sure Pornhub's not open somewhere. Okay, well, Eileen is in here. And uh, apparently she's having a damn good time wherever she is. Well, okay, more power to her, I suppose. I mean, you know, you've got to relieve tension somehow, especially in a stressful situation like this. So, whatever, I'm not going to judge. Oh, hello. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, my God. Can you stop hitting me? Whoa. Whoa, they don't fuck around, do they? <laughs> Why? Like, I mean, it is... <sighs> Is that supposed to be, like, scary in any way? <sighs> I, I don't know. Are they both dead? Well, she's dead. What about you? Uh, oops, still want to go outside. They actually took a lot of damage there. Yeah, I guess they're both dead. So what have we got here? It seems to be some kind of skin. Smell, smells so bad. It must be fairly new. My God, is it human skin? Maybe. Maybe it is. You know what skin it isn't, Milado. It's not our skin. So that's a win in my book. All right. Well, charge. Ooh. Yeah, I can't decide whether I like the knife or not. Oh man, that stinks like hell. What the hell is it? Ah, uh, I guess it's a whole fat load of fuck. Oh, Henry. Oh, use the hospital key. I don't want to go in there in case Eileen's in there. Oh, what the fuck, Nuggets? is that that's that terrible smell what's behind this cloth well let's have a look and find out this wall must be to prevent suicides well yeah well that's disappointing I was hoping we could take a look behind the cloth but whatever all right well let's go have a look in here shall we oh okay her arm's kind of all done up. All white tweakle. She's not dead then. Although I don't know how she's having a good time with a hand bandaged. I mean, I mean, relax. Shit. Henry? From next door. Mm. What are you doing here? I don't... I don't know where to start. There was this strange hole in my room. I saw people getting killed. 
all these weird other worlds. And I saw you get attacked too. What are you talking about? I'm supposed to believe that? But it's true. And there was a kid with you. Wait a minute. Did he? I'm sorry I didn't believe you. I guess there's something wrong with me. I just feel so scared. Damn. This place. Where is it anyway? Uh, I don't know either. But I do know that if you get killed here, and you die in the real world, too. <laughs> anyway, the only way out of here is through that hole. Okay. Okay, take me with you. Okay. Um, right. Well, uh, we found your bag, by the way. Like, is there anything we can do with that? Uh, well, I mean... I guess she's got her bag. Uh, that's cool, I suppose. Right, so, like, do... Let's take her back to the hole. Even though... I kind of want to explore these rooms, though. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so... I'm guessing... She's going to slow us down. Whoa. All right. Well, I guess there's sweet F.A. in here. All right, Eileen. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we've got to go back to our house now, which is... Oh, hello. Okay, well, we got some burpers, Eileen. I don't know if you can, like, help me at all, but these guys kind of suck. <laughs> it's all right. We got this. We got this. Oh, wow, Eileen's actually getting in there. Damn. Ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> it's just like, why? It's so fucking stupid. Like, uh, actually stupid. I'd, I don't know. Are you dead? All right, well, I hope they're dead. Uh, right, well, I guess we've got burpers. I'm not com Oh. Oh. This is a nightmare. Okay. Can't be happening. Kind of like attached. Uh yeah, it kind of sucks, but it, it is happening. All right, grab the bullets. Grab the bullets. No, 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 do take the bullets. I wonder actually, Eileen, can you like carry stuff for me? Or at least get the fuck out of the way. Because you're, like, really in the way. Eileen, I'm, like, literally walking into your tits right now. Okay, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Now, is she behind me? Yes. And the nurses are still dead outside. Great. All right. Oh, fuck. Hello. <laughs> Hello, lovely. I've got the cure for what ails you. Ooh. It is nice, actually, to have Eileen with us, because, yeah, I mean, I guess she's a bit of a distraction. It's a sterile room. Uh, it is, with someone, like, half out of it. Okay. Yeah, do they take, like, two hits to kill? I think so. Because once they've had, like, the second hit, then they start to bleed to death. Um, right. Okay. But we are finding some cool items, so, you know. Ooh. What's that? The Saint Medallion. Um, yeah, I guess. Can be equipped along with a weapon. Anti-spirit effect was hold, but will eventually break. Can be equipped... Okay. 
Not sure about that, but sure. Okay, fine. Whatever. Keep the ghosts at bay, maybe? Uh, we need this one. Now. Ooh. Yummy. Looks like we've got stalks coming out of this gentleman. Alright, Eileen. We've got this. Don't you worry about it. At least we will have this. Oh, that was nice. Go out there, sir. Looks like you have a bit of an eye stalk situation going on. It's a man's dead body. Uh, you know, that is very um, observant of you. Very observant. Um, now, I don't know if, like, Eileen can die or anything. I know, I think, like... Ooh. There is something to do with her and... Ooh, hello. And the, um... The ending. Dried up flowers. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I've just sprayed 10 litres of weed killer in my gun today. Front and back. Take the holy candle. Yes. Special candle with anti-spirit effects. Begins working shortly after being lit and placed down. Well, alrighty then. I might look these items up after this video. Because uh, I don't really know what they are. Oh, stalks. Yeah, the only problem with this blade is it's very short ranged. Is there anything around here? Is that? It's wet from rain. Is it rain, or is it a split pipe somewhere? Alright, well that worked. And we've got two more. What are these things? They're weird. I can't decide what they are. I can't quite get that last one. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Long reach. Long reach. Yeah. Ah, uh, never mind. Okay. So many rooms. Five left. Any burpers? No. Yeah. But we do have uh, a nutrition drink. Damn, we're almost out of space again. Holy fuck. It's a sterile room. Which one is a sterile room? Uh, I don't know. Quit your belly aching, Eileen. Honestly. Alright, let's get ready. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. We've seen this before. These are x-ray pictures from the floor. Eileen? Uh, are they? Bunch of x-ray pictures. Yeah, are these Eileen's x-rays. You're obsessed. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not. Does that matter right now? Although she still has that very painful looking scarring on her back. Ooh. Ah, revolver bullets. I forgot we got the revolver. Uh, yeah. Large diameter bullets for use in Richard's revolver. Reasonably powerful. Okay, good to know. So, yeah. It is separate ammo. Which is a bit of a pain. Oh! Shit. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> Fuck. I thought that was it then. I was like, game, that was cheap. That was really cheap. Ooh. Yeah. Whatever's in here has escaped. This long thing. What the hell is it? Some kind of umbilical cord. Ooh. Again with the umbilical cords. Right, well, I mean, we've examined every room now. We don't have the key anymore, either. Unless... Unless that's all there is to the hospital world. Maybe we can get out of here now. 
We have been in... Yeah, we've been in every room. There is one locked room, though. I guess we've got to wait for her. Yeah, there is one locked room downstairs that we need a key for. But I assume... Eileen? You, you coming? From the sounds of it, you already have, but are you following me? Okay, cool. Right, all right, well, fair enough. Oh, hello. <coughs> Bitch, taste my blade. Oh, look, her guts are, like, coming out. Maybe that's why she's burping. <laughs> and I lean there with the fucking bag of justice. Her bag of holding. Right, let's stun her up a bit. I don't know, you know, this blade. I mean, I guess it's weak, but holy shit, does it do some damage? I'm not a fan of these nurses at all. Then, like. Yeah. Yeah, they're not dead yet. Yeah, you can see she's still breathing on the floor. They're very hard to actually hit again. Which is interesting. Right, let's go home. We're actually out of time as well, so this is quite a well-timed video. Right, come on, Eileen. Come with me. Enter the hall. We're going to go in the hall together, Eileen. That is a big asshole. And that is a long ass way to climb each time, but then I suppose we have nothing but time on our hands. Now are we gonna wake up with her in our in our room, or is she gonna mysteriously have disappeared? Gone. Thought as much. Hmm. Okay. Or is she just in another part of the the house, maybe? Or is she back in her house? I find it interesting that she said the boy stopped her. Because I thought the... Oh. I thought the boy... And Eileen. Uh, uh, the boy and the, the jacketed man. Were the same. But... Uh, I guess not. Okay. The air in this room feels heavy. Ooh. The ceiling fan has fallen down. This room, it's so oppressive. Okay. There's a note under the door as well. Let's read the note. Red envelope. There is a letter and a small key inside. Uh, you've seen the world as well, that horrible nightmare. But if you get sucked into it, it's not just a nightmare. Don't get lost in there. If you get pulled in, you'll be killed. But there's still hope. Maybe this small key will guide you. If you've seen the door with the placard set in it, look in the other side of the door. Then keep going down to the deepest part of him and look for the ultimate truth. July 20, Joseph. Joseph was the guy that was in here before. Small but ordinary key in the red envelope. Oh. 
And now we've got... Ah, hello. We've got a handbag as well. Um... The weather that day was very strange. Even though I avoided the earliest storm, there was still a thick fog clinging to everything. Fortunately, that allowed me to avoid being seen and get right to work. The police is still stubbornly acting as if it's just a copycat case, so I figured things probably hadn't been touched here. But I was wrong. I should have come sooner. The cemetery was still... Uh, was in such bad condition uh, it was almost sad. The storm must have raised the sea level. Anyway, that's how it was when I found Walter Sullivan's grave. This diary is pretty damaged around this point and I can't read anymore. I'm still in shock. There was no body in the grave. And on top of that, written on the coffin were the numbers 1121. June 14th. Hmm. How long has it been since I left this room? I can't tell if it's been days or hours. But during that time, they found the body of 1421. I've been having hallucinations lately. I think I'm losing my mind. No date written. Walter Sullivan did kill himself. He died in his prison cell in, of blood loss after he stabbed himself in the neck with his spoon. His body was buried in a cemetery just outside of his hometown of Silent Hill in an unmarked grave. After that, his name became famous all over the world and it looked like his string of mass murders were finished at 10 out of 21, but three years later they found a corpse that had 12 of 21 carved into it. The corpse was from six months earlier. In other words, the person killed uh, was killed two and a half years after Sullivan committed suicide. The MO was exactly the same as Sullivan's, except for one thing. All 10 of Sullivan's victims were found with their hearts cut out and their chest wounds sewn together expertly with thread. On the other hand, the, uh, the 12 of 21 victim still had their heart. Naturally, the police think it's a copycat and are proceeding on that basis. But they haven't made any progress and recently discovered the victim number 13. Uh, his corpse also had his heart intact. The police still haven't identified a suspect. Uh, I've got a work in hypothesis. Very few people knew the details of the original crimes and would be able to copy Sullivan's MO so precisely. First, I'll head to Silent Hill, to that graveyard, near that beautiful little lake. Maybe I'll find the answer there. June 11th. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, that's where we're going to have to leave this episode for now. So, thank you very much for watching. When we come back, uh, back through the hole, I guess, we'll have a good sweep around the apartment. God knows where Arlene's gone to. She's like literally disappeared off the face of the earth. But this game is heating up. Uh, it's getting interesting. I like it. Yes, I like it. I'm not quite understanding the hate for this game. Uh, I mean, the nurses are stupid. Uh, they're definitely the worst nurses in Silent Hill that, that I've seen so far. But anyway, apart from that, the storyline's good, though. I'm enjoying the story. It's cool. I'm looking forward to unraveling the whole mystery. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and as always, till next time.